Have you ever wondered how apps make millions and millions? Every man wants to be successful, but it's not enough when it comes to launching your own product. Strategy is exactly the thing that you need. If you think that your application is never going to be as successful as WhatsApp, for example, then let us think about it twice. The creators of WhatsApp or Instagram or Telegram, they are just ordinary people, just like you and me. And you know, you have to think about it twice when you think that you are not going to launch it. Another example of such a great rise is the Slack application. But we need to think about it. What is exactly this Slack? What is exactly this Slack? Slack is a cloud-based messenger app which is designed exactly for team collaboration demands. But all chats, they happen in the so-called channels, and these channels are created by the team itself. Slack was released by Stuart Butterfield in August 2013, and people actually do say that this company has raised over $4 billion. Can you imagine this amount? I personally don't. How did Slack get its name? Despite all the rumors, Stuart himself claimed that Slack stands for nothing else but searchable log of all conversation at We can all. say that the success of the company has been greatly determined by its marketing campaign, but nevertheless we should dive into the following features of Slack, which helped him to build its fortune. Let us remind you that the real reason of Slack's profit is functionality. So, let us introduce you the following 10 features of Slack, which you should consider. Cloud-based. Slack is a cloud-based app. It is designed specifically for royal companies' demands. For example, you can store any documents, snippets, memos, meeting schedules, etc. and all in one place. You can always find something old in there. So, Cloud-based is a really important feature for a messenger app. The second feature is channels, and channeling has never been so easy. And you can also mute specific channels if you don't want to lose yourself in some concentration issues. And you don't actually have to lose yourself in the pile of corporate spamming. You can create anything you want. So some product-based matters, some spamming channels, etc. And it's up to you. The third one is search history. And here Slack offers us a really great solution to the search. Nevertheless, it has its own pros and cons. As to the advantages, the search engine is really flexible and you can always find some really, really old messages. On the contrary, Slack's developers, they always tend to remember you that you ought to try their pro version to access the oldest messages. And as for us, that is a really oxymoron to be limited in such a flexible app. Hashtags and mentions. Did you know that you can use hashtags not only on Instagram? Look at Slack. You can always notify an individual users just using the at sign. The next feature is customization. And you know this messenger really has an option to customize your workspace. Not every messenger has this solution. And this could be just a really flexible solution to your eye problems or maybe some your specific interests. So try using that. And you know, they also have a homeless notification sound. Try it out. The next features include emoji reactions and integration with other services like Google Docs or Google Drive. These features are really useful for you if you want to just make it more flexible or something else. So try using that out. The last but not the least is privacy. Slack offers you two-factor authentication, but nevertheless, will Slack go public? No one knows for sure, but yeah, you know. One of the most frequently asked questions is, what Slack channels should I create? You know, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to follow some formalities and you can turn on in imagination. You know, for example, create a help thread or announcements or maybe some social group like maybe dance party tonight or puppies photos etc. So decide up to yourself. The next question is whether a Slack conversation can be monitored. You know, it's a rather delicate topic to discuss, but nevertheless, you should always remember that your employer always has some access to your accounts. So it is his workspace, you know. 
and nevertheless your colleague may take a screenshot of your conversation etc so the pen is always mightier than the sword and you cannot escape the big brother you know as to our conclusion we can say that there exist a lot of apps for corporate demands for example google hangouts or microsoft teams discord etc there's just a great amount of them nevertheless we can't claim for sure that slack is the best one of them of course we've listed some advantages as well as some disadvantages but it's entirely up to you to choose which messenger app your company or your colleagues should just use so as for Zambitech, we should advise you that why not actually slack is really great and our team has used it for some time and we have shared some snippets some memos we have been making some phone calls and we definitely advise you to try it out and we want to see more apps and maybe your app to be the next one the next successful app and the next successful startup